today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. So right now I'm in Scotland, I've come away for a couple of days in my camper van, I had a very very windy night last night on the shore of that lock as it was blowing an absolute hoolie. But the next couple of days are forecast to be very stormy with severe snow showers blowing through and that was certainly the case when I woke up this morning. So I decided to leave the shores of the lock and come and seek shelter in the woodland. So this woodland that I'm walking around is mainly plantation woodland. It's mainly coniferous trees, pines, and things like that. But in the middle of those pines, I noticed this old ancient oak tree and it really jumped out at me. Because as you walk around this area, it's just straight lines, straight, 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 uniformity all the way. So when something breaks that uniformity or breaks that pattern or symmetry, then you really notice it as I did with this tree. And it's fantastic, but the problem is I've been looking at it for about 10 minutes now, maybe, maybe, maybe 20 minutes. And I can't compose it. I am really struggling. I just can't find the angle. I have only been looking at it from kind of low down, um, I suppose, north side of the tree because the sun's behind it, backlighting it. So what I'm going to do now is wander higher up the bank behind me, come around and see how it looks from that angle. But I really hope I can make it work because if I can compose this tree, and then we get a heavy snow shower blowing through like we've had all morning, then this could make for quite a nice little image.
So when you find a subject, um, especially one that's in a really busy environment, just like this tree here, it's always worth doing like a full 360 walk around. Even if from where you stood, you don't think it's gonna work, you don't think it could possibly work. What's great about the tree is the fact that it's completely surrounded by all these uniform pines, but the, the canopy above the oak tree is just open. So there's lots of light coming down and, and highlighting all of those wonderful green mosses. Now, it is, I don't know, it's not perfect. Um, I'm really, really struggling with any kind of foreground the, the hillside and the base around the tree is just an absolute mess. It's a disgrace, it really is. So what I'm doing is I'm framing the tree, but cutting the bottom of the tree off so you don't actually see the trunk go into the ground. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. It's definitely better than the alternative, which is just all of the, all of the mess on the floor. It really is an awful distraction. So I decided to shoot this composition with my X-T3. I do have my Canon 5D Mark IV in the van, but the reason I've chose this camera is because of the lens. This is a 35mm f2, and 35mm is the perfect focal length for this subject, but what I really wanted was that f2 aperture to throw the background out of focus, because the composition's okay, the subject is fantastic, it really is. And the lighting's okay, and I think if we get heavy snowfall, it'll be, you know, it'll be really amazing, but as it stands, it's, it's an okay image because the conditions aren't quite there. So by throwing on a 35mm f2, I'm gonna throw everything that's beyond the tree, I'm gonna throw that out of focus. And what that's gonna do is really, really soften the background and give it that ethereal look as if there was heavy rain or mist or something like that. It's just gonna soften it. It's not gonna be that noticeable, but it is just gonna give it that nice kind of Bit of atmosphere that currently it's lacking. Now we have had a few snow showers blow through, but to be honest, they've been pretty disappointing. And I think that's it. I think we're about done with this photo shoot. I've been here for a couple of hours. I've been waiting for that heavy snowfall. It hasn't quite materialized. I have had a few nice moments of sleety snow and a little bit of nice soft light. So there could be an image here. I really hope there is because I've thoroughly enjoyed this morning. So I think it's time to pack away and move on. So today has been one of those days, one of those days where the weather has both been for me and against me. It's, uh, it really couldn't make up its mind today. Hailing and snowing one minute, sunny the next minute, always windy, always stormy, so it's very difficult to work in. So I only got the one image, and I've got the image open here in front of me, and you've already seen the full processed version. But ah, I just wanted to talk through it a little bit, because my first impressions after bringing it up on my laptop, bear, bear in mind it's not edited, and I think we're going to need to do quite a lot of work in Photoshop with dodging and burning and that kind of thing. I'm just not overly happy with it. And ultimately, it's down to two things. One, the snow never really happened. It didn't penetrate the forest that deep. So there's no atmosphere added by falling snow, which I think would have made a great difference. Um, and the second thing is the composition. I really struggled with isolating this tree. Really struggled. Um, and I made the decision in the field to sort of cut off the base of the tree because the floor was just a complete mess. And whilst I still think that was the right decision, I don't think the tree has a strong enough form to be able to pull off this composition. It just, it looks a bit odd that I've cut off the bottom of the tree. So I'm not overly happy with it. However, I am parked up in a beautiful location. It's night time now, we're still in the depths of winter so it gets dark pretty early. And I've pulled up a beautiful spot in a woodland next to a little lake, a little tarn or a little loch. I'm not quite sure what it is, probably a loch because we're in Scotland. 
and it looks like it's got tons of potential it really does nice and sheltered nice and quiet the weather is supposed to be a bit more settled tomorrow so i'm going to wake up nice and early and hopefully have an explore and find another image to finish off this video so with that being said i will ah! <laughs> i will bid you good night clean up my tea and see you in the morning Well, good morning everybody, and welcome again to the deep, dark, damp woodland. I did walk around the lock, it was beautiful, but it was a little bit too manicured, it was a bit too man-made, you know, you've got these big, wide gravel paths, lots of wooden fences, and lots of fishing jetties, so I found it difficult to shoot the type of image that I'm after on this trip, so instead, I've come deep into the woodland. Well not that deep, the footpath is like 100 yards that way, but still the reason I'm here is because of this, this wonderful subject, this twisted gnarly tree that's wrapping itself around a leaning pine, and that caught my eye. So it's a wonderful subject and we have some beautiful reflected light from the clouds over to the east that are just catching the morning sun and all of that's washing down into the, into the woodland. Um, and it's beautiful. Now, the subject itself uh, really interested me because there's a little bit of a story there. It's a bit more interesting than just a couple of nice looking trees. It's this relationship between two completely different trees. And I really like that. I thought it was a fantastic subject. It's in open space, so it's easy to isolate. But the difficulty I'm having with this subject this morning is deciding how best to shoot and compose it. I've narrowed it down to two options. A pano, which I've already photographed, and a vertical shot, which I've yet to shoot. Now the pano was quite straightforward. You put the subject in the middle, uh, make sure everything's composed and everything's exposed and focused correctly and then you pan from left to right. But the only thing I'm unsure about with the pano is this group of trees off to the right hand side. Now they're wonderful trees, beautiful pines catching the light fantastically, but they're quite bright. And I worry that they're gonna to be too much of a distraction away from the main subject, which is the twisted pine. So the pano, I've shot it at f5.6 and I'm happy with it. Now I'm gonna focus on the vertical. So I think I will really like the pano. And what I might actually end up doing is bringing the pano in. So it's a bit more of a 16.9 or a letterbox. I just, I just cannot decide. I think I'm pretty much gonna shoot the subject every which way, but for now I'm just focusing on the vertical and the main decision that I'm having to make with the vertical 
is to is to place the interaction with the two trees, the sort of the twisty bit, and placing that towards the bottom of the frame. And then the top of the frame has the tall pine tree that's leading you out. Um, it seems to work quite nicely, especially, especially because of the way that that tall pine tree is catching the side light from the morning sun. So it's pretty straightforward once I've framed it. I'm just going to focus on the main pine tree. And that's pretty much it. We have nice side light, a nice subject, and it's been a fine morning. So a great way to finish off this video. So, oh, the day, focus, come on, there we go. So uh, the sun is up now and things are getting a lot busier around here. It seems that this is quite a popular location and not surprising actually, it was really nice. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna pretty much end it here. It's been a, let me, uh, get this back on. I'm just gonna close that. Uh. So I'm back in the van now, I've warmed up and I've had a nice coffee and a bit of a tidy up as well, which I think was much needed. And I've been thinking about this morning shoot and although I haven't had a chance to look at the images on my laptop yet, I was just flicking through the back of the camera and I think I'm much more happy with the subject from today than yesterday. I think it was easier to compose, it was more interesting, I think the light was better, the light was more predictable, the weather was a bit calmer. So all in all, I am definitely happier with how this morning went than how yesterday's photo shoot went. However, I've been checking my phone, checking my weather apps to see if it's worth sticking around or if another storm, wet, windy and cold, miserable storm is going to blow through, I'll just go home. And I was checking my weather app and you can see that uh, there is snow in the forecast for Monday. Heavy snow right here. So what I think I'm going to do is stick around, maybe check out a couple of locations today and then hopefully find something to shoot for tomorrow where there's going to be fingers crossed heavy snowfall um, if that if that's the case it's going to be fantastic the winds drop right down so it should stick yeah that's that's the hope so i think i'm going to hang around for a bit and hopefully my next video next week will be from a winter wonderland we'll have to see but that's it for this video uh, thank you to squarespace for sponsoring this content if you don't know who squarespace are well they're an all-in-one platform where you go and you log on and you build your website using their very very easy drag and drop system um it's, it's so easy i've done it no coding experience no experience at all necessary you can knock up a website in an hour with online stores and all that sort of good stuff so perfect if you're a photographer looking for somewhere to showcase your work right with that being said oh no i haven't finished um how do you go to squarespace how do you get a discount that's right go to squarespace.com forward slash heaton and give it a free try and if you like free trial use the offer code heaton for 10% off your first purchase. So there you go, ever the professional. Uh, make sure you tune in next week to see if we do in fact get the snow that is forecast. Bye for now.